here's the guy that's very angry, but <laughs> I think it's you're fair to be angry, but just a fair warning, it's gonna be sort of loud. Sarah's story is a little convoluted, but I'm gonna do my best to try and keep you up to date with all the information that was coming out as I discovered it. Get ready for a fucking roller coaster. Sarah Kavanaugh had joined the Marines around 2006 or 2007, deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan where she was blown up, received a Purple Heart and a Bronze Star with V device, V being for valor, for pulling some Marines out of a burning vehicle while being engaged by the enemy. Now, some of the shrapnel inside of her body due to this roadside explosion that causes this entire event led to her receiving the Purple Heart. Well, she got out of the military was basically told, hey, listen, you're, you're pretty busted up. We can't keep you here anymore. And I had a hard time switching, switching over to civilian life. She started leaning on different military organizations for those that were wounded and having a hard time moving into the civilian world. And they assisted her. She eventually got the job as the commander of a VFW post in Rhode Island. Now you might think that this is a great feel good story of a wounded veteran <laughs> coming full circle, helping themselves out, relying on others, and then getting a job. It, back in the veteran community, hell, it's the VA, but it doesn't end there. You see, two years Welcome, ago, Emily. Sarah was diagnosed with lung cancer, which then metastasized into her brain. <laughs> it was terminal. What a bummer. But it's because of this cancer that we got to know Sarah. You see, Sarah contacted the Hunter 7 Foundation, a fantastic non-for-profit <laughs> focusing on assisting veterans and their medical needs He's that it just mad. so happens I work alongside with. Now, after some talks back and forth with some head honchos at Hunter 7, everybody was on board to help Sarah out, but some issues started popping up. Because once you take an individual in the military sphere and elevate them on social media, there's a lot of prying eyes on there. So if something's not- This is how I am when I first discover something and like I'm telling Steven about it, I'm like, then she had a post that said that she was like, Harriet Tubman. <laughs> but then I tone it down for the cameras. Uh, right, well, someone's gonna find it, aren't they? Aren't they, Sarah? Oh, and we found it. We found it. Now here's where it gets juicy. Sarah never had cancer. In fact, she was never wounded overseas because she never went overseas because she never served in the Marine Corps. She didn't serve in any branch. She's a civilian <laughs> who made it all up. Fairy dust. So Sarah, here's the fake. But how do we know that she's a fake? I mean, I just said that she faked her military service and, and that she didn't have cancer, but how do we know that, right? How do we know these things? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. You see, Sarah went to a lot of public events as a Purple Heart recipient and a commander of a VFW. And in some of these public events, well, she would wear dress uniform, looking pretty snazzy. Now somebody found out some of those medals didn't quite line up with her DD-214. And if you're not familiar with what a DD-214 is, it's this, it's your retirement document that you get from the military once you get out or when you're done with the deployment for the National Guard and- I feel like we're learning so much today. I feel like every episode we learn a little bit more, right? About a little thing in, in the world that we might not have known before streaming right i didn't know about any of these forms and now i feel informed <sighs> wait hold on hold that hold that oh it's gone dang it i used to have a i'll have to put it back in reservists out there and the medals on her chest and the rank on her arm and her time in service and when she got deployed and when she was blown up well it didn't quite match this fantastic document that would notate those very important specific things now i'm not going to point out exactly what was wrong here because fuck you you disgusting piece of shit i don't want any other <laughs> stolen valor fucking dummies to try and copy her so this is angry cops is the is the uh youtube channel he's got 1.2 million subs so He's doing pretty good. Uh, if you like, if you like this, uh, 
channel. I think it's it's entertaining to me. It's actually funnier the second time I'm watching it now. <laughs> nonsense. But this, if you were a Marine, would see is riddled with inaccuracy. So that's one. Specifically, I will bring up that her social security number and the social security number that's on the DD-214 didn't line up. In fact, they didn't line up so much that one was a male and one was a female. Now you're like- We're almost to the part where she's, he's gonna talk about the salute. What do you mean one was a male, one was a female? Well, Sarah's obviously a female, but the social security number on the DD-214 was linked to a male, a real male service member. So Sarah <laughs> took a real Marine's DD-214 and started fixing it and mixing and matching and diddly duping it so then it looked like she <laughs> was this male marine. That is some inception shit going on there. Oh, but it doesn't matter. As in all stolen Baylor, what do they want? Oh, they want attention. Oh, do they want attention <laughs> and they're gonna get it. Now when people saw Sarah in her uniform and with this DD-214 looking like things didn't match up. Well, eyebrows were raised and people went a little further in there. Now, I don't know how much further you gotta go because if somebody fucking salutes like this and says that they're in the fucking military or were at some point, you're high as a kite. The old fucking man next door is doing a better salute than her. What the fuck is parade rest standing, feet separated shoulder width apart, hands splayed out with your fingers all fucked up like you're riding a high five a robot and then hand up here salute that is in no way, shape, or form the way the position of attention or the hand suit is taught. You can't fake being in the military because it's <laughs> such a unique experience that eventually, if you keep it up long enough, which is the cardinal sin for all stolen valor people, you get caught because they can't stop. You want to hear some more fucked up shit about this turd? Now, so far, we... <laughs> So I looked at the picture. I'm like, oh, she's saluting normal. But apparently it's very obvious <laughs> that it was not correct based on his, <laughs> his um, reaction there. So interesting to know as well. I would like to learn the official way. I guess you don't unless you're in the military. But <clears throat> it's interesting to know that there's so many different little things you have to know. It makes me appreciate the art of, of those ceremonies more um, than previously. We've got Sarah wearing a bullshit uniform with a bullshit DD-214 that she's handing out to fucking everybody and <laughs> acting the part as if she's fucking Super Sailor Marine Sarah, go fuck myself. But let's, <laughs> let's talk about some other things that she did. Just. Yeah, and she's gonna, she's gonna talk in, in like two minutes too. Just to keep piling on this massive mountain of human shit. You see, <laughs> Hunter 7, the fantastic non for profit organization that started to figure things out, actually ran a funding campaign to assist her in some of her medical bills, which, by the way, were fake. She faked fucking. Okay, I don't know how he got access to this, how this YouTuber got this, but it looks like real forms that he came across, and I'm interested to find it because. That's crazy that, that someone has access to like w her putting her name there and stuff. That's crazy. But I guess that's how this whole thing fell apart because there is no account number with that last name and then the whole thing crumbled. But the fact that he has it is crazy. Cancer medical bills. And so well, in fact, that healthcare professionals were looking at it saying, holy shit, that's extremely legitimate. Only a healthcare professional would understand yeah, how legitimate legit. this looks. You would have to know somebody in nursing, hmm, hint, hint, in order to get this the way that it is. Now that was only found out after Hunter 7 got a hold of Walter Reed and said, no, she had never showed up here. In fact, Hunter 7 got a hold of a local VA who said, no, we kicked her out. She showed up in the emergency room one time with her fucking DD-214 and we were like, we can't validate your service. You need to beat fucking feet. Holy shit. The VA did something right. <laughs> but yet the VA hired her as a social worker. Wait a second. Are you telling me that this stolen Valor piece of shit got a job <laughs> working at the VA surrounded by veterans and their paperwork? Their stories the legitimate paperwork to go on and back up those stories. With those powers combined, you could become the most ultimate piece of shit stolen valor fuckhead in the entire military sphere of world existence. Oh. And she did. Yeah, I wonder, 
I see what Emily says that that he worked with the organization. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he has like a friend, and maybe that's why he's very upset because he's an associate with the organization and has the information. That makes sense. Thank you. It doesn't matter. end with Hunter Seven figuring out that she's full of shit and immediately pulling down and refunding <laughs> all all of the monies collected for this fucking lying turd. The military non for profit sphere. It's a small circle. So immediately Hunter Seven starts going around and talking to all the individuals and non-for-profits that she may or was associated with in the past. And wouldn't you fucking know, Sarah's been receiving money, <laughs> donations, assistance for being a wounded veteran. Oh, Trips to Colorado and New York museums for some reason? <laughs> Weird. No, you see, you went from wearing a fucking costume and shaking some hands to fraud. You've been defrauding. Of course. Non-for-profit organizations for wounded veterans. Oh, no. Oh, Sarah, there is a certain <laughs> level of hell that is meant for you, and I can't wait to see you burn in it. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've Damn. been talking this entire time. Perhaps I should let Sarah talk about <laughs> how she received money from a veteran non-for-profit due to her veteran wounded status. Okay, here we go. We're gonna hear from her in an extended version. Take it away, Sarah. Good evening, my name is Sarah Cavanaugh and I served in the United States Marine Corps from 2007 to 2016. I deployed to Iraq twice and Afghanistan once. Total support came through several times to assist me particularly after I was diagnosed with a service-connected illness that led to my divorce. Go to support Dennis. <laughs> Wait, what? Led to her divorce? <laughs> I think she threw that in there just for fun. She's like, yeah, that, that, those burn pits destroyed everything. My lungs, my divorce, my marriage, I mean. <laughs> they did a number. That's weird. <laughs> I didn't hear that before. I was diagnosed with a service-connected illness that led to my divorce. Code of Support then assisted me again when I was without heat for three weeks in January of 2020. Recently, when I received my service connection, there was an issue regarding a payment. I reached out to Code of Support and immediately received assistance from Marjorie, who was able to walk me through the process. There have been several times I've reached out just for emotional support to Christy regarding my service and what my purpose is now. Stolen Valor. God, they'll never stop astounding me with their boldness to go in front of a camera. She was probably never married, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> She's probably been single her whole life. She's like, yeah, the burn pits got me, got my marriage. <laughs> you were never married, ma'am. And say that you received money fraudulently <laughs> from a charity. <laughs> Knowing full well that your shit's fake as fuck. Wow. Who handles this? Doesn't the FBI handle this shit? Oh my God, I think they would. That'll be a fun story. Oh, okay, so it says, Federal agents raid home of VA social worker who claimed to be a Marine vet. I want to play the song because I'll get demonetized immediately. Biggest fucking fraud in stolen valor history. Hunter 7 caught it and let everybody know, hey, this person's full of shit, but she took money from Code of Support, admitted it on that video that we just saw. Well, what about the VFW? I mean, she's a post commander, isn't she? Isn't that a paid position? And I'm pretty sure she got that position because of her wounded veteran status. Well, that's more fraud going on there. What else do we have? <gasps> the Wounded Warrior Program. She even got money from them. Oh, a no. Lot. I, gotta, I gotta start counting on another hand now. That was the most. They gave her two, over $200,000. I can't understand that. Now, hopefully you remember that she said she had cancer. Duke Oncology. Duke was gonna start giving her treatment for free because of the Tug McGraw Foundation. But here's one of the most sickening things about Sarah. It's her time with Patrol Base Abate. And if you're unaware of Patrol Base Abate, it's basically a retreat for veterans Okay, I didn't get to this part, so I'm interested here. This is the part I thought was odd as well. To kind of center themselves and refocus, rehabilitate and reinvigorate their purpose in their community, in their family lives. And if you don't know what that means, 
That means fucking Sarah with her bullshit, not real, lie, stolen valor fuckery was <laughs> hanging out with real combat veterans and trying to assist them with her own stories, which were fake. And it's like, oh, hey, here, I did it. I made it through this. Let me help you and assist you. You fucking sociopath. I can <laughs> that seems to be a thing, too, that all these people want, like, especially like Don Lineberger, who's the one that I was the most convinced wasn't lying. I mean, she already was in jail, but like, if I was to go back, I mentioned last time, She's the one with the bald head and said that she had breast cancer. Um, she made it her mission to like coach other women going through cancer. And every post that she would make on TikTok was about teaching a lesson about how, you know, she's overcome so you can overcome too. That seems to be something that pops up a lot. It's like this coaching motivation bullshit. That's why I think I was interested in motivation bullshit when I started doing the cancer fakery stuff, because there is so much overlap. It's like that toxic positivity just breeds in this like the fakeness like if you're the more fake you are the more you probably cling to toxic positivity and like looking in the you know in your camera lens and going you can do it I believe in you you know no one <laughs> like I just find them to be very similar so it's interesting that she would be the one to go and like help others get through their situations I mean you could also just say well it's more cover for her but I think there is an element of like psychology there that it's like oh well if I'm paying it for Forward, I'm not doing as bad maybe or I'm not doing such a horrible thing if I'm helping others I don't know it's a hard it's a stretch to even try to justify it anyway the real life fucking damage you did to veterans who really needed help and here's your fucking lying ass being like oh hey listen I'm Sarah and uh and I know that you women might have a different experience than the men that are wounded everybody's just different but as another female veteran that was wounded allow me to connect with you and share our experiences to better you why and what about just the veterans that needed that what about the actual people that needed assistance that this fucking <laughs> took away from them? You know, this bitch is so f <laughs> Why would you censor that and only that? Oh, I guess it's like the C. Okay, that's like too far. Okay, got it. <laughs> fucking stupid that she uh, went on TV and said, hey, you know what? Rhode Island's having such a hard time with finding out where Purple Hearts are. We should probably have a registry. And I was reading today that there is no real official uh, document or, or anything about how many folks have received a Purple Heart. Is that correct? Yeah, so I guess that we, uh, no, none of the branches um, officially report that to the state, to the VA or anything like that. I think uh, maybe having a role would be a, a great thing for some people. For some people, not me though, <laughs> but some people would benefit from that. Uh, people that I'm stealing money from and their identities from. Um, that's interesting. That makes sense why she picked it then. Okay, so she's smart. She knows like what she can get away with. And I guess she would know that based on working at the VA, that would probably possibly come up in some way. Like, oh no, there is no registry. It's just like a honor system. It seems odd. It seems like an oversight and like, why? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something that would be fairly easy? Like they have everything else about us and know our taxes and know everything about citizens. Why would that not be something that the military would, would make sure to have on a record? What the hell? Like so odd. But again, I don't know anything about military anything. So I'm not the person to, to speculate or ask questions. Uh, and this says she wants to create a role of Purple Heart recipients, all while knowing she is not a Purple Heart recipient, in effect, assisting others to discover that she is a fraud. So confident in her false paperwork, she thinks no one will catch her. I just think, you know, she was making a statement like, you know, like, oh, yeah, there is none. I, I, I researched that when I was looking to fraud people. <laughs> Purple Heart already tracks that shit. And so does the VA, which, by the way, you fucking work for. Now, since this has all come to light, and thank God it has, there's been a lot of mixed emotions. I, the fantastic charities they were taken advantage of just wanted to go away. And I can't blame them, but they shouldn't be embarrassed because they're doing their fucking job. They're trying to take care of people. You got just pieces of shit that'll take advantage of their kindness.
Well, listen up, Sarah. Our kindness should not be mistook for fucking weakness, because the fucking veteran community is coming after you. Oh, we're fucking coming. And so are the feds. So are local law enforcement. So I hope you enjoy your fucking prison stint, and I can't wait, I can't fucking wait to see you in court. Now, I personally support all the non-for-profits that were taken advantage of by this fucking piece of shit. And I've got all their links below. 107, Patrol Base Debate, Code of Support, Wounded Warrior. I implore you, if you want to help out some veterans, to check out their websites and donate. And let them know. Oh, I'm getting fucking emotional. <clears throat> and let them know that we're not gonna let some piece of shit bring them down. And that they have our support, because they've got mine. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, he's not done, okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was over. <laughs> uh, this is again, Angry Cops. I don't know if he's an angry cop or, I mean, sounds like that might be, <laughs> that might be what he is. Uh, maybe a clue based on, you know, the name and the mood. Uh, that is his YouTube channel. And I, I got to say, I really enjoyed that video. So, um, it, it, again, makes me feel a little bit saner that other people have the anger. I mean, I, I'm not a member of the military or a veteran, so it makes sense that he would be personally offended. But on behalf of everyone who's been defrauded, I always feel like I just want them to pay. You know, it's not fair that they got away with this. Well, let's watch the update. It's not a real update. I mean, it's not, a, it's, it's a nine month ago update. So they're not going to have the, um, the sentencing, what actually happened, what her punishment was, but uh, we can see what, how, how he's feeling <laughs> these days. <laughs> Look at the screenshots. <laughs> There's your preview. Okay, here we go. So you can figure out how to play this fantastic online in game and support the channel. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> We got you, bitch. Oh, we got you, bitch. Oh, if you don't know, let me tell you, this beautiful human pile of trash, Sarah Kavanaugh, not a real name, but her alias, stole hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's not even her real name. How does that work? From non-for-profits and veteran charities, under the guise of being a Marine, which she's not, complete stolen valor piece of shit. I need a whole video on her. Check that out before you even see this. Oh, before you even it. see it to get the down low on how shitty of a person this is. But there's been updates. I've never done an update before. Oh no, that's not true. I did a 230 commander and that bullshit that went on. Well then I should say the only times that I do them is when it's a real shitter. Oh, but this time it's a good one. Because Sarah here got raided by the FBI. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, and the VA's Office of the Inspector General! Oh, federal agencies, federal agencies come in to kick your ass. Sarah's house got done booted into in February by the feds and, well, they found a whole bunch of did dad doodly documents and started running their background checks and figuring some shit out and boy, did they uncover some shenanigans. While we I see Christina's comment. Thank you. Uh, looked on Reddit and someone said her sentencing was changed to January 31st over an undisclosed event. Interesting. I wonder if she's in, if she's home. Oh, I guess she's home because I saw that video of her walking out of the <clears throat> CVS. So she must be awaiting trial free. She must have posted bail. I haven't seen a mugshot though. Where's the mugshot? I haven't, like there's some pieces missing to this case. Maybe it's a Rhode Island thing, but it's interesting that there's like little no information I mean, I can read the court case, but like there's limited like assets. Usually there's a bunch of stuff I can look at. seems like it's not as much as usual. So interesting. Okay. I will, uh, I'll look to see if there's like official documentation of that. Working for the VA, Sarah was stealing information. We all knew it was happening that way. We assumed, but it's, oh, it's fact now. She was stealing veterans, living veterans information and scamming military, veteran, non-for-profits, and charities. So let's see exactly how much money this horrible piece of shit 
stole from these charities and what the feds have found out and are charging her with. Ooh, she's so exciting. Let's start with VA charity Credivets. Outstanding. Starting with veteran organization Credivets, who send veterans to art programs as a form and assistance in therapy. She stole $16,472. <laughs> for travel, art programs, and, well, other benefits. So, okay, there's one. Can you show me? Go fund me! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> See, Sarah stated that she needed assistance in some medical bills, and she was a U.S. Marine combat veteran who received a Purple Heart and Bronze Star after saving a whole bunch of fantastic Marines after an IED blast. Well, that money went directly to a bank account in Sarah Kavanaugh's name. hey -oh, and what was the price tag on that? $4,766. Mm. True. <laughs> Next one, Code of Support. Put it up. Now, Code of Support, along with the Matthew, and I don't know how to say this, Pulio, Pusio Foundation. I don't even know how to read my own handwriting. Either way, they assisted Stolen Valor, piece of shit, not real marine, Sarah Kavanaugh, in furnace repair. Let's get the number up. There it is. $10,372. All because she stated that she was a combat veteran and dying of cancer who needed their help. Wait a second. There's more. One more code of support up there. Okay, they're not done yet. We're going for a bonus round. After giving her money for gym memberships for physical therapy, mortgage payments and numerous payments for bills. Code of support racked up a total of $18,472. Show me Wounded Warrior Project. Outstanding. Now the Wounded Warrior Project had backed Sarah Kavanaugh up and supported her for four years, 2017 to 2021. And her great- He's just going through the court case in a much more engaging way than I did. <laughs> I still like it though. In total, of money stolen from the Wounded Warrior Project is $207,000. Bringing our grand total to $278,320. Woo! We've got a winner here. We've got a scamming piece of shit winner here. Wow, that's a hell of a lot of money. Over a quarter of a million dollars. Now all this money was gathered up through the Fed's investigation and I'll send a link to that in the description below. But they discovered a little bit extra. You see, while Sarah was working for the VA, she had to scan documents and send emails. In fact, when you work for the Department of Defense, you get a DOD ID number. It basically replaces our social security number on paperwork and other forms as a single identifier for DOD workers. Now, that DOD number never changes. You could be Army, Air Force, Marine, retire, and go into the Department of Defense somewhere, and you'll have the same DOD ID. I'm not going to give away the gentleman's name, but the DD-214 that Sarah Kavanaugh fraudulently stole and then edited to put her personal information in. Well, it belonged to a Marine who is very much alive and still currently working for the Department of Defense. And the feds went in and interviewed him and said, hey there, Corporal, did you, uh, did you let this lady fuck with your DD-214? And he said, no, sir, I didn't. I don't even know how she got a copy of it because I have the only copies. However, he did go to the same VA that Sarah Kavanaugh worked at. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't shit where you eat, right, Sarah? This investigation is ongoing, but as of right now, she has four counts against her. Fraudulently editing a document, portraying yourself as a veteran. One other thing about editing some sort of federal document, but the big number four, well, that's wire fraud. And that carries a maximum, just a maximum, not the minimum, but a maximum of 20 years in prison. Ooh, with three years probation. Ah, and a $225,000 fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, but the justice system sucks. So she's probably gonna appeal it and appeal it and appeal it, even though she's guilty as fuck, till eventually she gets like two years probation. Yeah. And 
I think, like I said, my prediction is one year prison to prove a point because it was so ridiculous. Restitution, which is going to be hard because she's got to come up with 200000 plus dollars somehow. So I'm sure there'll be another scheme scam coming up. And then probation for like a few years would be my guess. Everybody walks And up. mental health help, like a, you know, a, I don't know, a state institution for mental health. Not to go in it like inpatient, but she'll have to do a program of some kind of, you know, I don't know what, but that's usually part of it too. Way feeling fucked over. Trust me, I've seen it happen. The appropriate amount of time that she should serve behind bars and not on probation. Probation can happen afterwards. Well, that should be from her fake date of entry into the military, that bullshit DD-214, mm. until the day that she got arrested and got caught. And I think that's like eight or nine years. That sounds pretty good. Oh, and what else sounds pretty good is probably you paying back those fucking charities you stole from, you disgusting piece of shit. I guess we'll just see what happens. I think she'll have to, honestly. Like, the one woman that Jessica, who took, um, who went on the podcast and, like, defended herself and said she had, you know, um, uh, she had her hysterectomy first, and then she had this other cancer and all that. She had to pay back. I mean, she only had $10,000 worth, but she had to pay back all that money. Um, and sometimes like the lawyer will pay for it, I guess. And then they have to pay the lawyer back. Like it comes out of their fees and then she has to pay him on an interest base, like, you know, as part of it. So if she's got a good lawyer, then this lady might be able to pay it back slowly. But that's usually part of it when you fraud like individual individuals and companies like that. Look, do you hear that? Oh, it's a word from our sponsor. Or all the types. <laughs> All right. Well, that was good. I I like the uh, the <laughs> the delivery there.